question is, determine if the limit as x approaches 2 of gx and g dash 2 exist, where g is equal to uh, 2x plus 3 if x is greater than 2, and 2x squared minus 1 if x is less than or equal to 2. Well, let's just have a look at what that function looks like. So there's my y-axis, and there's my x-axis. And I'm interested in what happens here when x is 2. So on this side, it's 2x squared minus 1. So that'll look something like this. And on this side, it's um, x, 2x plus 3, which will be a line. So when x equals 2, 2x plus 3 equals 2 times 2 plus 3 which is 7, then x equals 2, 2x squared minus 1 equals 2 times 4 minus 1, which is 7, so they actually match just here, like that. So that's 7. That's our graph. Okay, so my graph tells me that the limit actually does exist um, when x is 2, because my graph goes to the same place when I come in from both sides. And it actually also tells me that the, the derivative doesn't exist because when I come in with the slope from both sides, I get different answers. But we should be formal about it, I suppose. So, determine if the limit as x approaches 2 of gx exists. That means that the limit from above should exist and the limit from below should exist and the two answers should be the same. So I should figure them out. The limit as x approaches 2 from above of gx is equal to, well, when we're above 2, gx is 2x plus 3. So that's the limit as x approaches 2 from above of 2x plus 3. And 2x plus 3, I can just sub the 2 in. 2 times 2 plus 3, which is 7. The limit as x approaches 2 from below of gx, well, when we're below 2, gx is really um, 2x squared minus 1. So it's the limit as x approaches 2 from below of 2x squared minus 1, which is 2 times 2 squared minus 1, which is 7. So since the limits are equal, um, the limit exists. Since these exist and are equal, the limit as x approaches 2 of gx is 7 and therefore exists. Right. All right, let me start a new page. Now let's look at g dash 2. Now g dash 2 is defined as a limit. The derivative is actually defined to be a limit. So let's just write that down. g dash 2 is equal to the limit as h approaches 0 of g of 2 plus h minus g of 2 over h. Okay, now because g is defined differently when we're above 2 or when we're below 2, that means that g of 2 plus h will be different depending on whether h is positive or negative. If h is positive, then we're above 2, and we've got one definition for g. And if h is negative, then we're below 2, and we've got a different definition for g. So we're actually going to have to do both of these sides separately. So the limit as x approaches 0 from above of g of 2 plus h minus g of 2 over h is equal to, well, when we're above 2, g of 2 plus h is 
2 times 2 plus h plus 3. g of 2 is always 7 um, over h. Oops, I forgot to put my limit sign in. Hopefully I've got enough room. The limit as h goes to 0 from above. Okay, so that's the limit as h goes to 0 from above of 4 plus 2h. Well, 3 minus 7 is 4 over h. So the limit as h approaches 0 from above of 2h on h, which is just the limit as h approaches 0 from above of 2, which is 2. All right, let's do the one below. The limit as x approaches 0 from below of g of 2 plus h minus g of 2 over h is, well, when we're below, when h is below 0, that means that 2 plus h is below 2, so we get the limit as h approaches 0 from below of 2 times 2 plus h squared minus 1 minus g of 2, which is 7. Over h. All right. So the limit as h approaches 0 from below of 2 times 4 plus 4h plus h squared minus 8 over h, which is the limit as h approaches 0 from below of 8 plus 8h plus 2h squared minus 8 over h. Run out of room, so I'll just start a new page. So that is equal to the limit as h approaches 0 from below of 8h minus, well, plus 2h squared over h, which is the limit as h approaches 0 from below of 8 plus 2h, just dividing both of those things by h. And now, because there's no h's on the bottom, I can just sub h in, and so I'll just get 8, which is not the same as the limit we got before. The limit we got before was 2, so which is not equal to 2. Therefore, g dash 2 does not exist because it's a limit and the, the two sides of my limit aren't the same and therefore the limit doesn't exist and therefore g dash 2 doesn't exist either.